Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I did a couple a couple changes here to the farm. One would be, first off, right here in the next to the road, I fixed the fence. I got rid of the little gate that I had there. I just didn't see why I even put it there in the first place. But uh, this would be the main entrance here. I also added this uh, shed here because I bought one of the animal trailers and another semi and I thought I would it would be better if I parked it over there in that metal shed rather than just out in the open. So I moved the wheel loader into here, uh, kept that small little shed for the uh, wheel loader um, attachments. I did pick up this uh, Ford uh, with the fuel tank in the back. It's got the gooseneck uh, attachment there uh, just in case we ever need it to you know, pull any bell trailer or anything. We'll have it there ready. I also picked up this little uh, John Deere just to get around the farm here. Uh, we picked up this Russell Mash tractor. Hope I said that correctly, but uh, I'll probably be using this to compact silage. So we got that and then we got this uh, attachment in the back. Some extra wheels to help with compacting the silage. Uh, like I said, we got the Animal trailer, we got the Silver Star back there, and we got this uh, Peterbilt. Uh, one of the features I really like about it is the lighting. The grill kind of lights up here and it's got a ton of lighting everywhere. So we'll be using that setup for our cows, bringing in and taking out. I did park the Mac here and this trailer, we have it leased, but I'm probably gonna just end up buying it because it holds uh, quite a bit of different uh, fruit types. So it'll be uh, useful to take two cell points. There's some touching up around the both barns I added. On this one, I added gravel texture. On the beef barn over there, I added the asphalt texture. I, I put a little pressure washer here just to wash our equipment whenever we need to. And over here, it's a little vehicle workstation in case I need to change tires or anything I ended up parking the flatbed over here just out of the way um, another shed I added right here this small shed um, I put it here so I can park this tractor uh, slurry spreader and uh, and this hay chopper I call it hay chopper I don't know the correct term but uh, it just basically breaks up uh, straw bales and that's basically it that's all the updates for this uh, for this part of the, of the farm. I'll probably jump into some contract work. Um, I did see a plowing contract, just over 15,000. Um, that's probably gonna be the highest paying one. There's a cultivating for 13,000, but I'm probably just gonna end up doing this uh, plowing field 32. So I'll probably just um, hook up the flatbed, pick up a tractor and get out there and get it going. I did stop by real quick here at the farm che uh, to check on our greenhouses since we have skipped a day forward just to see how they're doing and if we need to do anything for them. And it looks like they're fine on water, so we'll leave them at that. We do have some here. Uh, I think I'll wait for a couple more pallets or or at least get a full semi load this is the first greenhouse we got started so we barely got one pallet output so we'll uh we'll just wait for more of those and get them taken care of all right so we made it out to the field and uh, i decided to go with the john deere setup um just because it was what you know what was closest to us and what we had on hand but uh, this is quite a quite a big field, so it's gonna take a little bit of time, especially since this plow is just just under four meters.
Alright, we're down to our last pass here. Um, this field took quite a bit. We missed some spots over there, but for the most part, the contract's 100% done already. Uh, I'm just going to finish this last little bit here and get the tractor back to the farm. Alright, so after finishing that, uh, that plowing uh, contract, uh, we're going to take another contract and this one's going to be baling. Uh, I did borrow the equipment for this one, it's going to be $300 less, but I think the whole contract is worth $8,000, so we'll lose a couple hundred dollars, but uh, not, not much. Uh, the reason why I borrowed it is because I don't want to spend the all, all that money on the equipment right now uh, because I don't need it so I'm gonna wait for probably the next summer uh, or yeah probably summer or whenever I can do the first uh, cut wherever I plant uh, grass so in the meantime I'm gonna try to not spend and <laughs> save as much as I can so I can buy all that equipment uh, hopefully we can get some used on the discounted uh, section but if not, I'm just going to go ahead and purchase uh, all the bailing equipment I may need. Uh, we're going to go ahead and send this guy off to field field 18. Uh, for some reason, the worker was the worker that I had sent on the semi was going really slow. Uh, not sure why. So I'm just going to drive the semi down to the field and have a worker drive the tractor with the mower down to the field. All right, here we are pulling up to the field right here to our left. Um, I'm just going to unload all the equipment out here on the corner where where it's not in the way and uh, get this field knocked out, collect that money. Alright, so I ran the uh, tether through the whole field and I'm coming up on the last little bit here. I'm going to go ahead and run the wind rower uh, through here, put, it in, put in some nice neat rows <laughs> and uh, get it all built up.
right, so we managed to get the field all uh, bailed up, taken care of. Uh, the last thing we need to do is take all the bales down to the animal dealer, and that should be the last part of the contract, so uh, probably load them up and get them out of here. Uh, I got the bales all loaded up and everything. Uh, we didn't get a full trailer, but did get a decent amount of bales out of that small field. Alright, there we go. So it looks like after collecting the money from the contract, uh, we also got the money for the bales. So not bad. We actually got an extra, extra little bit of money. Uh, but it looks like that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.